Right, in this uh, short clip, we're just gonna have a little reminder about how to use the compass uh, and a few basics on, or, uh, on uh, navigation and orientating the map. Um, the most important thing to remember about your compass, if you forget everything else, is that the red needle, that's the, the metal bit, the red needle here in the middle always points north. The red tip of the needle always points north. It doesn't matter what you do in terms of twisting the base plate round, in terms of twisting the bezel round, you can do whatever you like with those bits, but always remember that the red needle points north, okay? Now, that allows us to do something really, really important, which is called orientating the map. And that means just twisting the map round so that the features line up on the map with the features on the ground. So we are currently just here in this campsite. Um, and so if I wanna know whereabouts the Malvern Hills are in relation to where I am now, whether the Malvern Hills are over that way or whether the Malvern Hills are over this way or over that way, what I need to do is just twist the map round so that the north on the map, which is the top of the map, is lined up with the north needle, the magnetic needle. So I put the compass on top of the map and I twist the map until the red needle points north at the map. And then what I now know as the red needle points north up the map, is that if I'm here, then the Malvern Hills are over that way. And if I wanted to leave this campsite and walk on this road here, then I would be walking in this direction here, okay? If I wanted to find my way to Garlford Village, then I basically need to be walking in that direction. And so that's quite a, an important basic in terms of getting started with your navigation. Now, let's say that I needed to know which way was south and east. It can be quite helpful to line up the red N on the bezel with the red needle. And then what will happen is that your E will be pointing east. So I now know that east is over there. I know that the S is pointing to south, so that's down in this direction. And the W will point west over there. If you prefer, for neatness, you can twist the whole base plate round as well. And once the N points north, then E still points east. S points south, W points west, okay? Now moving on to more advanced stuff, taking a bearing. Let's say that what I wanted to do was walk from this corner of the road here along this short section of the road along there. What I need to do now is I now need to use the compass in a more advanced way and I'm gonna line up the edge of the compass pointing with this black arrow here on the base plate. I'm gonna line up the edge of the compass in the direction that I want to walk along. Okay, so the black arrow here pointing in that direction and the edge of the compass lined up alongside the road. What I now do is I twist the bezel of the compass until the N here points north up the map. Okay, so lined up along here and then twisting this round so that the N points north up the map. And it's really important that I'm as accurate as I can here so that the uh, the uh, blue grid lines, which run north to south, are lined up with the black and red lines in the uh, bezel just here. So there's a black line down here, which is parallel to the blue line, which is on the map, and a red line just up here, which is parallel to that blue line here. Now I know that my red shed, and that's what I call this bit here, because it looks like the kind of end view of a shed, it looks like a little roof there. The red shed points north up the map. What I've done now is I've taken my bearing. If you wanted to know what the bearing is, you read off the number just here. It looks to me like it's about 74 degrees. And then to find my way and to walk on this bearing, what I need to do is I need to turn my body round until the red needle is in the red shed, okay? It's best if you turn your whole body round until that happens like this, because then your feet are pointing in the direction that you need to walk in. If what you do instead is you start turning the compass round, you find that the compass points where you're supposed to be walking, but actually it's difficult to walk in that direction accurately. So it's much better if you hold the compass base plate so it's pointing away from your body, and then turn your feet round until the red's in the shed, and then you go in that direction following the black arrow. Just remember guys, most important things, Whatever happens, the red needle will point north. And when it comes to taking a, a bearing on the map, you need to make the red shed point north up the map. And then when you're walking on the bearing, put the red needle in the red shed and walk in the direction of the black arrow.